Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and today we're going to talk about a further continuation of what I spoke about in this morning's video newsletter, which was titled, Is Will Smith a Real Man or an Approval-Seeking Beta Male? Because obviously what a, part, a big part of what I do for a living is I read people's body language, and I'm not going to go through everything that I talked about in that video, but I want to, what we're going to do with SD is we're going to go through kind of the history because I hadn't seen some of the things or some of the quotes from, I think I guess it was Will Smith's book, and then there were some other quotes. Like what was really interesting because what people say and what they do tells everything. And so it's interesting. There was a, a quote. And this was right around the the time that she got married. And so there's an interesting quote, and Esty's going to share, tell us about it. It's something that Jada said, and I want you to listen to the words of it, and you guys can post down in the comments, what do you think? Are these the words of a woman who's head over heels in love and who has a husband turns her on in every way, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and physically? Or does it sound like a woman who settled for a guy she probably loved and really deeply cared for, but never was really setting her soul on fire? Because it's like the words tell you everything. Enthusiasm tells you everything. And those of you who are familiar with 3% Man and the Attraction Table – which is in the chapter, it's all in the numbers, there are certain things women will do when they're in love with you based on their attraction level. When a woman's 9 or 10, there are specific things that she says, and guys that are familiar with the work will hear this quote and go, huh, I'm not, I'm not going to give it away. So I'm going to let Esty introduce it and tell us about it, when and where it happened, and what she said, and then I'll go through and kind of analyze it. Of course. So Jada and Will got married in 1997. Years passed, and in 2019, she told people a cover story. Quote, I never wanted to get married, but my mother was like, you have to get married. She's old school, and Will wanted a family. So I said, all right, maybe it's something I should do. Wow. So much enthusiasm. In that comment. Does that sound like a woman who's head over heels in love with her her husband is like the best decision I ever made? Or it's like, ah, uh, well, I guess this'll do. Yeah, he's a pretty nice guy and he wants a family. And my mother's telling me I should get married, so yeah, maybe it's something I'll do. I'll get around to it. Yeah, I'll get around to it. Yeah, like paying my bills and well, when Jade and Will were, well, when they got married, she was pregnant. So I think that was another thing where Shotgun she way. had to, like, get married. Because imagine, like, in 1997, you're with a partner, you getting pregnant and no marriage. It's, like, weird. You had to get, kind of get married. So I think, yeah, she was tossed into doing that. Will was paying way too much attention to his own interest in Jada and not enough to the lack of interest and enthusiasm that Jada had for him. And so anybody that looks to the two of them, watch them interact and tell that she's the boss, she runs things, she's totally intermasculine, and he's more effeminate and following her lead, even though he's a pretty buff, big guy. I'm sure he knows how to fight. I mean, he trained a lot for Ali, he knows how to shoot guns, so he's not a physically weak dude, but emotionally and mentally this is what happens when guys don't believe in themselves is that they get into relationships with women that are the stronger ones, the more dominant ones. And because he's not sure of himself and doesn't exhibit that in his body language, he kind of, like I was talking about in the early, the video I did this morning, it was like, she's kind of his mommy. She runs the household. And because he's not, 100% in his masculine and making her feel all submissive and girly and wanting to focus on girl things, since he's more effeminate, it causes her to shift even more into her masculine energy, which is what she's prone to do anyways. And you can tell 
based on some of the other quotes we'll get to, is that she's always run the show. He has always been seeking her attention and validation because somebody that's needy, that's, that's clingy, that doesn't really value themselves, for him being in the relationship with her, that's where he derives his value. And if so, she's moving away from him, he becomes unglued, becomes un uncentered, becomes upset, and she's the strong, stoic, masculine one, kind of like what you see in all the sitcoms. The sitcoms, the husband is the effeminate, bumbling buffoon who can't get anything right, and the women are very masculine and stoic and liberated and strong. And so basically, the woman acts like a man and the man acts like a woman. What you see a lot of that in their relationship. And when you watch, when I watch video of the two of them interact in interviews and talk about these events, it's like there's there's a facade there. There's they're actors after all, and you can tell they're acting. They're laughing. The laughing sounds fake, especially when they're explaining things. And when you examine all the tweets and things that have been said publicly, or things that have happened, including the other guy that she was involved with, then you kind of get a a sense for that they also don't really seem to be that honest and forthcoming, that they've said things that have later turned out to be untrue. And so that's the thing I noticed my time I've spent out in Hollywood with different celebrities is that it's like they just, and you you know from where you went to school, is like some of those people, they got that society facade, wherever they're, they're so nice to the point where it's fake. I know you see it in the, the pageantry. People are like, oh, so nice to see you. <laughs> and it's so like droolingly phony and not real. It's like those, so over the top, it's compensating for something. Yeah, exactly. They're trying to be too nice when in reality they're not nice people or they're not kind or that person walks away and then they start talking shit about them. It's kind of like high school. It's like high school never ended for these people because right. their whole validation comes from doing performances because they're creative, which requires you to be in touch with your feminine energy. But what what happens is is that they're so approval-seeking that they question themselves constantly. They doubt themselves. And that's what I see Will doing. He doubts himself too much. And because he's always un in, unsure and indecisive, even though he plays a lot of very masculine roles, and he seems like a certain dude in his roles, it's like when you watch him, he's awkward around his life. It's like the dude has got so many facades and so many stories he's telling himself that he can't even be authentic and real. It just comes off as fake. And what you saw with him smack, you know, slapping Chris Rock and losing his cool, losing his shit on, you know, for the, in front of the whole world last night is a dude that's not in control. And it's like the guy he really wants to be, who he is on the outside, he's got all these fake layers built out because of who he has to be in life that it's like starting to bubble. It's bubbling through. It's been bubbling through the last few years. And so when you watch like the video, what was it? What was the name of the, the show that the video was uh, on? Red Table Talk. So the Red Table, was, which is Jada's it's thing, her right? show. So when you watch that and she starts talking about um, his time hooking up with, what's the guy's name? August Alcina. August or something? August Alcina. So he's a famous, very successful rapper, younger dude. Yes. She played the cougar role and she obviously, she seduced the guy. And so when you hear the quote, like you can you can see the clips of this particular video. And so what happens is he Will's leading her through and he said, okay, so explain to everybody what happened between you and Augustine, basically. And one of the things that Will says in the video is you decided, in other words, Jada is the one who decided to take time out, to take to to trial separate and so when she explains what happened she obviously was developing feelings and probably thinking i'm gonna fix i'm gonna save this guy because she did help him i think he he was addicted to uh prescription painkillers or something like that he was going through helped him too. get off made him feel loved and young know, he's a he's a stud i mean the guy is a very successful dude and she, you know we went we saw the quote of what she said about after they got married like and so you could tell a lot of their the, the facade is there and so she, you know women want to feel something and it's obvious that she was there was something missing and she wasn't feeling it 
And so she felt something with this rapper, and they had a relationship that carried on for a few years. But as Will Smith said in the uh, – was it the, the – The Red Table Talk. The Red Table Talk mm -hmm. video was that Jada is the one who decided. She wanted the separation. So she, it's, it's almost like she was monkey branching from Will Smith to this guy. And whether anything actually happened until they had their talk about the separation on, who knows. That, I don't know. They, I haven't seen it addressed. It's it's really between Jada, only Jada and uh, well, Aug no. August well, Snow, I guess, yeah. when it actually happened. But the way it's set up is that, oh, there's this chemistry between me and this other guy. So let me go to my husband and say, hey, I want time out. I want the hall pass basically on our relationship so I can go explore things with this other dude because, you know, quite frankly, being with a guy who's indecisive and very feminine is making her pussy dry on her bucket of sand, and this other guy is turning her on and making her feel something, something that was, that reading the quote of, you know, oh, all right, maybe it's something I should do, she wasn't feeling it. So she was feeling some good emotions, and then she goes and then has, you know, ends up hooking up with the dude and having a multi-year relationship. But if you look at Will Smith's face, he's not happy. He doesn't like hearing it, even it causes him pain. And so the bottom line is, is that she's got all the leverage in the relationship. And that's because he put his balls in a box and gave them to her. Because he's not man enough to stand up to her and put her in her place. He's still running around and, you know, treating her like his mommy instead of his, his teammate and his lover and setting her soul on fire. You can still see it in the body language. Even like when they were kissing at the awards last night. It's like he's kissing his mommy the way that they kiss. Instead of his queen or his soulmate or, you know, the woman that sets his soul on fire. So, mm -hmm. what you got next? So, at the end of the day, she wanted the time out. She wanted the break. She runs the household. And I think everybody sees that. It's obvious that Chris Rock picked up on that. I'm sure Dave Chappelle, a lot of people have commented on their interactions publicly. Men have to be the leader. And... He's got to be a, a strong, masculine dude that is leading the household. And that's the only way. A, a masculine woman like her, she needs a really strong man who's really got his shit together and is going to put her in her place. And Will obviously ain't doing that. If he was, she'd be more feminine and girly. That's just a fact. Mm -hmm. you, you see it in the body language. You can't hide that. You can't fake it. Everybody knew that the rumors that uh, they had an open relationship... And they were saying that they were swingers at one point, which was not. So both of them shut that down, which made it which made it harder for like. And then there was a thing about what was the name Mark Anthony, the singer that she hooked up with him or something at some point. Yeah, Mark, that was in 2011. So Mark Anthony was with J Lo, but in 2011 they separated. So when that happened, that's when the rumor came out with Jada was hooking up with Mark Anthony, and. It was one of Jada's reps that said that was untrue. They were false. And then there's something about an open marriage. Yeah. Because that's, that's what some of the too. people were saying in the comments from the video earlier is that they were in an open marriage. But it's obvious when you watch the Red Table Talk mm -hmm. video that Jada was the one driving that train. She was the one deciding that it was going to be an open relationship. And one of the things that Teek Nhat Han said is that you must love in such a way that the person you love feels free. And some of the things that Will has said, it, it sounds like they've kind of, they have that philosophy, or at least the two of them do, that I love you so much that I want you to be mm -hmm. happy even if it's, it's not with me, which is the right way to love. But at the end of the day, if he's not showing up and is masculine and really handling shit in his, in his own life and his family, she's going to be looking around. Mm -hmm. She's going to be looking to find a guy that's, because again, she needs a, a really strong, badass, masculine guy that, I do want to ask you, Corey, what are what is your thoughts on the swingers rumor? Because first it was they had an open relationship rumor. And then um, Jada, she showed up at the Watch What Happens Live and said the wildest rumor was when she heard about her family is that she and Will are swingers. And didn't Will Smith, didn't he date somebody else? I heard, I don't know if it's true, but these were people posting some of the things in the comments on One th yeah. the video that he had hooked up. Or I th Well, they took a timeout, so I assume he took advantage of the, yeah. hall, the hall pass it, yeah. as well. I mean, but I at guess the end of the day, he was still thirsting after Jada because rejection breeds obsession. And he wanted to get back 
together with his queen, but his problem is he's not been stepping up and not been man enough consistently to make mm -hmm. her feel safe and comfortable enough to really submit to him and follow his leadership and be all girly mm -hmm. and submissive like and forgive his his naughty deeds like Beyonce does with Jay Z because Jay Z's a fucking man. Mm -hmm. He's a grown ass man, even though he's he he's his commitments are obviously suspect, but at the end of the day, he's a man. Mm -hmm. he, he does what he wants. That's wild though. I mean, they agreed to have a separation for the meantime, so yeah, they shouldn't be upset with. Well, each they other. agreed. They it's Will Smith did not have a choice. She, it's on but video. That, yeah, that on is video. on video, of course. Of course, he's not going to say so much, but we don't know what actually happened the day of when they actually talked about it. They're not going to say all the spill. I don't think so. At the end of the day, so. she said that's what she wanted. Will Smith says that that's what she said she wanted. And mm -hmm. he had no choice but to go that's along with it. She had all leverage. Yeah. She wanted to be separated. He didn't. So she got mm -hmm. her way because she's the man in the relationship. Look, it says, quote, we decided that we were going to separate for a period of time and you go figure out how to make yourself happy and I'll figure out how to make myself happy, Will said. While Jada added, from there, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement with August. Yes, it was a relationship. Absolutely. Yeah, because he confronts her and says it wasn't entanglement. Yeah. It was a relationship. He so like it's obviously August when you listen to him talk about it in his tweets and stuff that. He, August, same thing. She ran the pants in the relationship with August, and she eventually tossed him aside. She had all mm -hmm. the leverage. He was thirsting after her, and he deeply cared for her. But she, pff, women don't give a shit how much you love them or care about them. They only care about how they feel about you. And you see that in both her relationship with Will and the one with August. Now, you also talk about rejection. Even though August said what he had to say, and Will and Jada came clean that it's not true. Would you say that rejection that August didn't take it well and decided to say things like that? Well, obviously you could tell he cared. He's hurting. She dumped so him. The rejection. So she that's blew him I'm... off and went back to her husband. Probably because Will started acting a little bit more masculine and sure of himself, especially once he started hooking up with that other chick. And Jada realized, wow, Will can replace me with, quite frankly, a better looking, hotter, more feminine girl. And all women fear that, especially as, as they get older and they've had kids. And so and her man can still have kids with another woman. Can, us guys, we can pretty much have children almost till the, the day we die, as long as we're healthy. And so she started caring once that, you know, when the power flipped, when Will was became okay not being with her and being with other women, just the perception and seeing him act upon that is going to bother her. And so what she does is she starts testing all the men in her life. Obviously, in August's case, she she's going to back off, just like a cat goes and roams the neighborhood. And so as she backed off, he probably pursued more, and he literally chased her back to Will, who's starting to meet, you know, several years later, starting to meet other women and having a good time. So he had the leverage, but at some point you can tell – which happens in a lot of those cases when a guy gets his girl back that he wants, he gives his balls away again. And then it kind of goes back to the same cycle. He might be more masculine than he was, but he's still not at the level that he needs to be to make her pussy drip and let wet like it, it got for August. So from She Buzz left her husband to go fuck a younger man. That's what happened. That's a fact. Yeah. She, she put the marriage in timeout. Will it have a choice? He also engaged in sexual relationships. So according to sexual BuzzFeed, yeah, Will confirmed to an into into the well, Will confirmed that both he and Jada have, with mutual agreement, engaged in sexual relationships outside of their marriage. So both of them did. Like he agreed to that. This is from the BuzzFeed. It's not on up there. But supposedly the they're totally committed to one another. They're monogamous with each other now. The, Paul, the hall that's, pass that's has been yeah. revoked. Supposedly. Yeah. The hall pass is revoked un, until it's not. Until she decides that mm, he looks good. Or, like I said, it, she continues to have all the power like she does. He's going to be ur, 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 like a little puppy dog. Like he was last night. Like I was talking about in the video that I did earlier. How he didn't give a shit. It wasn't a big deal. He was laughing like everybody else. And then Jada was the only one in the hall. Like, 
the whole place it wasn't laughing. Mm -hmm. Everybody thought it was funny because mm -hmm. she's very masculine. I, I had no idea she had a, a hair problem or the alopecia thing. I just thought she's very masculine. G.I. Jane makes total sense. She could pull that no, role she, off. No, she made that public when I went to look. Well, to I don't research. know. I didn't see that news. So I, you know, I don't follow this crap, but that's why you shouldn't jump into conclusions. Like, okay, hold on, they're making fun of her her hair, but like her hair, like yes, she had it cut before. How but do you, if you know see Chris it now? Rock it's knew more. about that. Was he really close with Will Smith? I mean, I don't know. Chris is a man's man. I think he cheated on his wife. If I'm not mistaken. Chris Rock did. So he's a bad boy too, and he knows how men act, mm -hmm. and he can look at. Will Smith and go, he act like a man. And he can look at Jada Smith and go, she's acting like the man in the relationship. And Dave Ch Chappelle, you know, he can see that too. I can't wait to hear what he's got to say. That'll be great. So, Corey, as a relationship expert, do you know what will be the next steps for Jada and Will's? Well, at the end of the day, if Will stays in his masculine and really becomes a leader and dominates the fuck out of Jada and puts her ass in her fucking place, especially in the bedroom, on a consistent basis and stops being so fucking indecisive and caring too much about whether fucking people think about him, especially his fucking wife, becomes a little more indifferent, reads my book 10 to 15 times instead of maybe the once that he kind of read over it. I've... Somebody was posting in the comments that they know for sure he's read both my books. I don't know. But there are, I do see some of the similarities in some of his comments and things he said that it seems like he understands some of the concepts that I teach. But if I look at his actions, he's not congruent with them. And that's part of his problem. But then again, he lives in Hollywood. And so he's got the facade and he's got the identity and that shit needs – all that bullshit, the, the public persona of who Will Smith is and who Jada is, it's like that shit needs to dissolve because – Neither one of them are living authentic or congruently. It's like they're putting on an act continuously. Even Will is in an interview and you hear him talk about these events. And it's so obvious that he's lying to himself. And as Dostoevsky said, a man who lies to himself and believes his own lies becomes unable to recognize truth either in himself or in anyone else. And that's part of Will Smith's problem is at the inside he's still not living congruently on the outside of the way he feels on the inside and that's where it, it's it makes you angry it pisses you off and that's the outburst that we saw at the oscars where he goes up and you know he's laughing with everybody else and probably when the camera went back he looked over his wife and saw she wasn't happy and then he got up it all kind of that's why a lot of people say it looked fake he, you know he's like oh i'm gonna get attention for this from my queen i'm gonna go publicly assault Chris Rock and you know the way he slapped him you know like I said it looked like the fingers hit the chin like he wasn't a full whoosh. and Chris Rock was leaning forward had his arms behind his back totally in a submissive position and giving himself up in essence and uh, I mean if you watch um, any kind of uh, pack animals it's like that's they roll over and they expose their necks and that's basically what chris was doing he was leaning forward and exposing his face and his body in a submissive position in a way to say yeah, i didn't mean it in any way harmfully it's i'm just it was a joke mm -hmm. and then will you know in response will smith didn't slap him that hard it didn't look that hard but i don't know chris rock can tell you how hard it was but like i said when you look because i saw a bunch of slow mos where it was slowed down it looked like the fingers it was like a finger slap of his chin. And so when you, 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 know, you see actors when they play fight, that's what they do. Because otherwise they beat the shit out of each other all the time. But the more you, there's contact, the better it looks on camera from the right, the right angles. And so then when he finished, he just turned around. And the way he walked off, he kind of walked off like a little girl. That was his body language. And he, it, the look on his face was like a, you know, a little eight-year-old boy that's hoping mommy liked that. And then he went back, and you can see later, you know, she reaches over and kisses him like she would kiss one of her little children. It wasn't a passionate "I love you" kiss. It was, it was like a um, a mother kissing her little son, and that's kind of how he he looks at her. That's his body language, his physiology, and that's why she wants to fuck other men. That was why it was her idea to go and do that is because he still acts like a little boy. It doesn't turn a woman on. She wants to be fucking dominated, especially a masculine woman. She wants to be dominated by 
a man that she can feel safe and just totally let go and let him have her way with her. 